I spent five months looking for sugarcane, and when I finally found it, I didn't stop at just trying to grow it. I figured out a crazy way to experiment with the juice and grow my own rock crystals. And did I successfully grow sugarcane in this two-year journey? Well, you're about to find out. Well, it all started with me believing that you can't actually grow sugarcane in a place like Canada because the winters are too harsh. And trust me, if you live in Canada or you've ever visited in the winter, you know that the cold temperatures can reach more than minus 40 degrees Celsius. And if you don't have a greenhouse, you're basically crap out of luck. Well, I'm on my way to purchasing a dream farm so I can build an indoor winterized greenhouse. But until that moment actually happens, the plants all have to come inside with me when the winter months start coming coming around from about November to March. And as much as that sucks, if you know anything about this channel, we persevere. We fight the challenges and we do not give up until we successfully grow plants whether indoor or outdoor. Well, as I mentioned before, I couldn't find sugarcane anywhere. So I literally took a plane to California to try and get my hands on it. I frankly never even tried raw sugarcane ever before. It all began, I arrived to Cali, got my sugarcane from a cute little market had a very hard time actually obtaining the sugar cane because they usually just juice it so they were very confused when I asked if I could buy the stem and I very well sprinted home to get to work I was really excited to just taste the juice and get my hands dirty cutting it all up like a boss I figured I would try to bring the sugar cane stems back with me to Canada but I knew that would be hard so we were in for a little journey here I placed the sugar cane on a cutting board and trimmed about an inch from both ends to remove any dry or damaged parts and then I I positioned the sugar cane and started gently slicing away the tough outer layers, starting from the top and working my way down, but this gentle experience was not in fact gentle at all, it was actually really tough. It took me about two hours. Sooner than later, I started to reveal the juicy inner flesh. I soon learned that sugar cane is an incredible plant. It stores sweet juice in its stems and it's basically what I call panda bamboo for humans. The stalks store carbohydrates in the form of various sugars, so when you cut off the surrounding rounding layer of stock and reveal the inner crunchy softer flesh, you can chew it and release the sugary goodness stored in the stems when you do. And the coolest part is that sugarcane actually isn't fruit because there's no seeds. So that means it's classified as a stem and who knew a stem could be so sweet and delicious? Well clearly I never did until I flew my butt to California to find this thing. Well, once I successfully removed all the layers and about two or three hours later, I started to cut the sugarcane into smaller, more manageable pieces and it was pretty easy to cut right through the stalk once the harder outer layer of flesh was cut away. I got one of the smaller pieces in my hand and popped it right in my mouth started chewing the juicy, softer inner flesh, sucked out that sweet juice while of course, semi enjoying the fibrous texture. And I had to chew it pretty carefully to avoid swallowing the fibrous fibers, but as I chewed, the fibers accumulated in my mouth, so I ended up spitting them out into a bowl as I chewed through these delicious pieces of random stems that grow from our mother earth. I actually ate so many of these that the sugar must have given me a pretty large headache, but it was totally worth it because I think it may have been one of the most unique moments of my life but here is where I got hungry for more I wanted to grow my own sugar cane not only taste it I wanted to experiment with the juice in unique ways to learn cool things I've never learned before so I went back home to Canada and I got to researching I spent exactly five months trying to figure out where I could obtain some sugar cane stocks near where I lived in the urban environment and busy city of Toronto Ontario Canada finally I found sugar cane stocks immediately bought a stock did a slow walk home oh Oh, who am I kidding? I darn well sprinted home with it to try and grow it and experiment with it. Of course, I asked all of you to help me out, so I made sure I did it all right. And I even got some awesome footage from a friend in India who runs a sugarcane farm. So lucky for us, we get a little inside look on what growing an abundance of sugarcane actually looks like in various parts of the world. How awesome is that? But now was the time to get to work. And if you can get your hands on some sugarcane stalks too and you want to grow it at home or experiment with it, follow these steps carefully. Sugarcane. It's about my height. First, you'll need to take some stem cuttings. You'll cut the stalks into sections with at least two to three nodes each. A node is a point on a plant stem where leaves, branches, or buds are attached. It's a crucial part of the plant where growth and development occur, and it's what's going to ensure your plant grows successfully at home. In the context of growing sugarcane, nodes are important because they are where new shoots and roots will emerge. 
It's better if you plant these straight in the ground, but since I'm working with an apartment garden, we had no other choice but to plant it in a pot. So if you're planting in a pot, make sure that the pot drains well with lots of holes at the bottom and make sure to plant them in a very sunny spot and, you know, then the hardest part comes, of course, waiting for it to grow. Well, if you're lucky, your sugarcane plant should grow pretty quickly. You could actually have your own sugarcane stalks in just one year after planting them, especially if you have a large space and they're in the ground. Well, after I planted them, I had some leftover sugarcane and I knew I was gonna have to wait a while for these things to grow, so I decided to experiment and try and grow rock crystals. That's basically when you put some string hanging down in some boiled sugarcane juice or sugar water and you wait for the crystals crystallization process to happen where something magical takes place. You better tell your teacher about this one. Well, I took my sugar cane stalks, blended them up, extracted the juice and placed the juice in a pot of boiling water, added a little bit of water and brought it to a low boil. And then I put that mixture in a glass jar with a little makeup brush hanging down in the concoction. And listen, honey, if you know me, you know I like options just in case we fail. So I decided to also do the same thing with white sugar so that not only I could see the difference in how rock crystals formed in different types of sugary substances, but to have at least one method that really worked successfully in case the other one failed. So I made the other mixture by adding three-fourths of a cup of white sugar to one cup of water, boiled it up on a low heat, and poured the mixture into a separate jar. I added string and a makeup brush to this one hanging down just in case the material of the makeup brush didn't allow the sugar crystals to form as well as the rope and to give us options of course. Also, I made sure to cover the tops of each jar with some paper towel so that no gnats got stuck in my mixtures and I waited seven whole days. Could barely sleep at night. I was dreaming of this sugar cane, but every other day I had to scoop off that outer crystallization layer off the top of the mixture and continue to wait. Well, guess what? This is what the white sugar crystals ended up looking like. I was so excited that it really worked. I felt like a kid in a candy shop. And as I kept checking on the sugarcane concoction, I was saddened to see that this was a complete fail. Not quite sure what happened here, but there might have been too much water added to the concoction. However, it is just an example of why we try a few different methods when we plant the plants and experiment on them so that we're successful with at least one of them. Come on. I still though decided to wait a few more days to see how the sugarcane would turn out and if the crystals would end up forming, but they did not. And I was out of luck here because I didn't have any more sugar cane to boil up. So if you want to do this at home as a fun project with your friends, family, or even your students or your teacher, make sure that you use white sugar or figure out how to get the ratios of water to sugar cane juice just right and let me know if you do. But you don't know until you try. It's all trial and <gasps> don't you know that by now? And that's okay because I was still really excited about our results. And speaking of results, as we grew our sugarcane crystals, we were also waiting to see if the sugarcane plant started to grow at all before the summer came to a close. So it's natural that you're probably wondering if we actually grew a sugarcane plant or not. Well, an entire year passed. 365 days. And as much as I wanted to tell you that it grew into an entire sugarcane field, I'm truly saddened to inform you that this in fact did not work. And I was really disheartened. But if you know me, I quickly picked my head up and realized that it may take longer since we're in Canada. And of course, you know, I wasn't throwing that plant out anytime soon. So I brought it inside for the winter, put it in my family of grow lights, and spent the entirety of seven months watching this plant inside, seeing virtually no progress. But then the summer this year came and I put it back outside, but it still hasn't sprouted up. But for some reason, I still believe that it still has a good shot at sprouting up, so we aren't throwing that one out. The best sign out of all of this though is that it did not die. It's kind of just dormant in the current moment. Honestly though, I just love the fact that this unique stem found stuck in the ground has so many different functions. It can be juiced, consumed like a drink, boiled, thickened, and spun to create raw sugar. It can be used to experiment in the classroom or at home. And what I found quite interesting is that sugarcane actually belongs to the grass family, which includes crops like wheat and rice. It was actually once a very major source of income for many plantations. There was even a time thousands of years ago, back in the day, you and me baby, when sugarcane was more expensive than gold. It's native to Asia, but it's also grown in many tropical and warm places around the world. It's very highly developed in India, just like we saw from our friend who sent us those videos. But you guys, it all started with me believing that you can't actually grow sugarcane in a place like Canada, to successfully combating that idea and a subsequent two-year journey of growing sugarcane, experimenting,
experimenting with it in weird ways and the unbelievable learning experience that accompanied getting my hands dirty on these sweet stems. So now we continue to wait for our sugarcane plant to grow and we got some time to think of other crazy experiments with cool exotic plants not usually found in a place like Canadia. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. You guys are everything to me and none of this would be possible without you. So it would mean the world to me if you didn't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe. And by the way, I'm about to show you a seven minute clip of me trying sugarcane for the first time. So please enjoy that. It's very funny. It tells you the story of how I even got my hands on it, how it tasted, and it's worth it, trust me. But always remember that I'm so thankful for you that I love you. And I'll see you next week. Thank you again for watching. And here's me trying sugarcane for the first time. Oh my God. That's where sugar comes from. I'm not supposed to eat the bark. Wow. Never in my 27 years have I eaten sugar cane. I've eaten cane sugar from the package. <laughs> but like, this is mixed. Blood bowl. I'm gonna put my blood, sweat, and tears into cutting this open with a knife that wasn't sharp enough. Wow, this is nuts. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know how I got these sugar canes? I went to the store. It was like a market where they make cane juice. I go up to the lady, I'm like, hi, can I buy one of those sugar canes? And she's like, oh yeah, you want a juice? I'm like, no, I want the sugar cane, like the, the cane, the stick. And she's like, oh no, those aren't for sale. And I was like, Sure, I'm willing to pay. It's for TikTok and YouTube and Snapchat and Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> She's like, no. And I'm like, please. And like, we went back and forth for a few minutes. I used my charm. Finally, she was like, okay, fine. Three dollars for one of my three dollars. Give me like 20 of them. I thought she was gonna say like 30 bucks and I would have paid it. I give her a five and she goes, she gives me the change. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, no, 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 keep the change, obviously. This is like, you're making my entire life here. A million people are gonna see this. Um, she's like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but take your change, I don't want it. And I was like, no, keep the change, keep the $2. And she got so happy. She gave me a second sugar cane stick. And I was like, oh my God, are you sure? Thank you so much, blah, 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 blah. I don't really think she like like knew what TikTok or YouTube was. And I was like, well, if you want to see the video, like go see the page. And she's like, no, 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 just leave, basically. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like, you just changed my entire life. Thank you. I don't know how to like, um, but anyway, that's the story. Now I'm sitting here eating sugar cane alone at home. Because I don't have a juicer and I don't want to juice, I want to chew it. This is probably my favorite video I've ever made, even more than cacao. Mm, sorry. This one actually had a red part. And it wasn't very good. Anyway. I find it interesting how when you go to get your coffee, and you go to get the cane sugar, I wonder why they, they flipped the name and called it cane sugar instead of sugar cane. For marketing or? I'm not really sure. But I never really knew that that cane sugar came from this sugar cane. Dude, like this is absolutely unnecessarily inequivocally I'm unbelievable. I'm so happy right now. Cause like, I'm Canadian. You can't find sugar cane in Canada, like the sticks. Right now I'm in California, chilling like a villain, eating my sugar cane that I got from the market. Like, I don't think life can get better than that. I want you all to eat this with me. I want to give everybody a piece of it. 
Breathe in the sweetness. Exhale the sweetness. <laughs> I'm literally the only person who could sit here by myself eating sugar cane. Well, actually, I'm not by myself. I'm with my little friend. How have I never thought to do this before? This is what dreams are made of. I wish the bark was edible too, but it's not. You can see just how much I've eaten. <laughs> it makes me feel better that I'm eating sugar cane with all of you. And this little baby, right? I don't know when to stop because like, it's so good. But I'll have like a couple more, maybe five or 10 more. I need to go back to that market and like hug that lady. Probably like, you don't know how to cut it open or even eat it or anything. Mmm. Happy dance. Mm -mm. Okay. One more. And now I'll save the rest for friends. I don't have any family here. I want, especially I want my sister to try it because she would love, she would love this. Can we make it a trend to go to stores that sell sh cane juice? sugar cane juice and just be like hey like can i buy a sugar cane <laughs> just cut it open put your blood sweat and tears into cutting it open and be like me and eat it i can't explain it like when you bite down it's weird because there's like a hard gritty like skin thing but then you keep chewing and like juice squirts out. And you suck it down. Wow, dude. Incredible. Love me. Eating a sugar can. Last one, okay? Two more. <laughs> Probably a lot of sugar cane. That is eight. See, the skin is like stringy. That's how it feels in your mouth. The juice that comes out. Holy shit. Okay. Last one. My life is complete. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed eating the sugar cane with me. I love you all.